and gentlemen, and welcome back to Tech Showdown. My name is Kevin, this is my co-host Teddy, and today we're checking out another AMD graphics card. It's going to be the AMD Radeon RX 470, and this is the MSI Gaming X version. So this will be quite interesting. It's been a little while now since I've done a MSI graphics card, and this one looks to be a quite a good one. MSI obviously going to be very popular. And the 470 also is quite a popular uh, chip because of its price as the sort of uh, slightly cut down version of what you get in the RX 480. So let's jump right in then with the unboxing and overview of this graphics card. So from the top here. There we go. Now usually in the past, uh, <laughs> MSI has very, very nice packaging. So we'll see if that will be the case this time. Looks quite nice on top. Take this off. Oh, the graphics card will be under there, but first we'll look and see what accessories it's coming with. Now these are always fun to open, and I try to be careful because I don't want to rip them. Come on. There we go. We got one side. Ugh. There we go. Awesome. Let's see what it's coming with. Anything else? Nope. So it's just coming with a driver's CD. Oh, fantastic. Um, yeah, well, okay. And this just looks like, oh, just basically how to set it up. Yeah, a, a user's guide. So not much there, actually. Um, I've started seeing that more and more in sort of the last, I would say, year. Um, maybe maybe a bit more than a year that they've, they've started including less and less in terms of the accessories. Okay, cool. So this is just a thank you note for buying an MSI product. So it's really good too. And we'll get up the graphics card itself. Here we go. Pull these boxes down. Very nice there. Let's take it out. Hmm. Very nice indeed. Oh wow. Well. So MSI is still doing this. So when MSI first came out with uh, their zero dispel technology, which basically the fans not turning on, they put these stickers over it. And I thought a lot of other companies did as well. And I thought they'd stop doing this because a lot of times people would get it out and not take this piece of plastic off and then wonder why the temps were so bad because one of the fans couldn't spin. Um, but they do put in big, big letters there. Please remove before gaming. So... Pull that off. There we go. Very nice. Not much else in terms of other plastic though. It looks pretty standard. So let's talk about this graphics card itself. So what's the uh, GPU in it? It's the 14 nanometer FinFET Polaris 10 GPU. Now that may be familiar to you because it's the same one that comes in the RX 480. However, on the 470, it's coming with 2048 stream processors, which is cut down from the RX 480, which has 2304. It also has less compute units, 32 to the 480's 36. Now this one's coming with a uh, boost speed in its OC mode of 1,254 MHz. Uh, that's compared to the reference boost speed of the RX 480, which is 1,266. TDP wise, it's coming with a TDP of 120 watts. That's pretty good, especially if you uh, were to think a few years ago what the TDPs of most cards were like first thing comes to mind is things like the R9 290 which had a 300 watt TDP so that's quite good there and uh, memory wise it's coming with 8 gigabytes of GDDR5 memory at 6700 megahertz in its OC mode reference is 6600 on a 256 bit bus which is uh, very similar to what you get on the RX 480. The only difference there is that the 480 comes at a much higher speed with the reference uh, RX 480 memory speed being 8,000 megahertz, which is you know quite a bit of a jump up there. But the same memory amount. So yeah, this is looking uh, very, very tidy. Let's uh, talk more about the cooler then. So uh, this is a very slim card, but it's very wide, and that's what MSI has been doing for quite a while. They'll trade off thickness for uh, width, basically, and this has been the case for uh, ever since I started reviewing MSI graphics cards, basically. So it's coming with their Torx 2.0 fans. So uh, these are actually quite good. Um, 
they have a newer design on the fan blades it looks like so that'll add a bit extra to the airflow i'm sure they've done a lot of research and development into them so that's quite good it's coming with their zero frozer technology which means the fans will not even turn uh, until you go over 60 degrees celsius so if you end up buying this graphics card and you put it in your rig and you're wondering why the fans aren't turking, turning uh, it's not because it's broken it's because that's you know it's by design is to keep it quiet so the fans aren't even turning now heatsink wise so this is a big big aluminium heatsink on it um, big in terms of width I mean it runs the entire length of the graphics card which is good you know but um, it's quite thin actually so it'll be interesting when we get to uh, testing this, see how the uh, temps are. Generally in the past, they've done pretty well, mainly because these fans are absolutely enormous and there's a lot of uh, surface area to dissipate the heat from on that uh, aluminium heat sink. So that's quite good as well. It's coming with eight millimeter thick heat pipes, copper heat pipes. So that's uh, also quite good as well. Big, big heat plate there too. So that's um, really good. Now they're saying it's coming with a premium thermal compound which um, is always a good thing, you know, as opposed to a really bad one. Um, should maybe help a little bit. You might see it maybe like one degree cooler, maybe maybe two degrees. There's usually not huge amounts of gain in my testing, at least when it comes to thermal compound, but it will help a little bit, and that's always quite good. Now, it doesn't look like it's coming with a back plate, which is a little bit on the weird side since most of the cards... Uh, I've been testing now um, of the RX 480 and 470 have been coming with back plates. However, that's not really the end of the world. But some people out there might be a little disappointed with that fact. Now, it's also coming with their upgraded components. So this is what MSI has been doing for a very long time, their military class components. Now, this is military class 4. So it's coming with their high C caps, super ferrite chokes, and Japanese solid caps. So that's really good. It should make the card more uh, reliable in the long run. It should also allow for better overclocking and smoother power delivery. So that's really good. Also, it's uh, coming with RGB lighting. So you'll see that on the front there. All these tabs here will light up, and an MSI logo on the side will also light up. So that's quite good too. Now let's talk about a power and I.O. then. So it's coming with an 8-pin power adapter up the top there. That's pretty standard for these aftermarket RX 470s. And round an I.O. we're seeing the sort of more standard affair of uh, late in terms of I.O. in that it has two HDMI ports. And that's becoming more and more common now as people start buying more VR headsets which oftentimes require two HDMI ports so that's quite good but it also has your standard uh, display ports and a DVI-D port so that's going to be good and that covers all your main bases there. So this will be very interesting. Um, I really, you know, I haven't tested many of the RX 480s and 470s yet so I'm just starting to get through them but from what I've seen so far there seem, seems to be a very big discrepancy between the different coolers so um, I'm hoping this one will do really good. It certainly on paper seems like it would do very well with having such large fans and such a broad large uh, heat sink with um, yeah like a huge amount of surface area. It's also coming with their airflow control technology which they say directs more of the uh, airflow over the heat pipe so that'll be quite good also so yeah uh, we'll be checking out this guy very very soon and i think it'll be quite a good graphics card now i thank you all for watching this video please subscribe to tech showdown if you haven't already and like the video and as always i'll see you guys next time